Janet and I, I'm Jennifer. I'm Janet. And we decided that we would do a recipe from the Brain Saver Protocols, Cleanses, and Recipes, which I got gifted this book by Janet. Thank you so much. And because we follow a whole food plant exclusive diet. Yes, we do. And sofa's free, gluten free for me. And I me think too. You too. And um, on page 375, we were going to try the pot pie soup. And we thought we would bring you guys along um, to, uh, you know, to see how easy it can be. And it's supposed to be a very comforting soup. Jennifer and I have been following along with this Anthony Williams, the medical medium. He has these cleanses to heal us. He feels that a lot of our stuff comes from, a lot of our, our chronic problems come from viruses, the Epstein-Barr vi Barr virus, which has 60 different variations and other viruses, and um, heavy metals get caught in our bodies and can't get out. So he has these cleanses and we thought, well, we'll try something. And and a morning cleanse is you wake up and you have lemon or lime water, and then um, you wait 15 to 30 minutes and make juice yourself, 32 ounces of celery. Yeah. And drink celery juice. And Costco has the best. And um, and then he had a, he has what he calls the 369 cleanse, where, where for, for nine days you do uh, a specific set of um, a protocol that he sets up. So we've tried that too. <laughs> yeah. And you know, it's been, um, it's been really fun. We like to try different things within the whole food plant-based world, different recipes, different um, things that will continue to help improve our health. And then we get excited about it. So we want to share it with everyone. And yeah. so that's what we're doing. I <clears throat> just cut up some celery but i have to um whoops i have to measure it and i think i'm going to if i have enough uh ingredients here i'm going to try to double it <clears throat> because todd said that he would like to try it with me so that's all yeah so i'm going to see if i have enough and what i'm doing jennifer is i'm going to dice some potatoes because i'm doing the there's two slurries for this soup Yes. The second slurry is a fat free slurry, and you have to steam your potatoes. So I'm going to dice them and then steam them. So I got some water on and I got my dicer out. Okay. I was going to see if I had enough potatoes to do it that way. And if I do not, then I will do the other slurry, which is um, I would just use oat milk. And arrowroot powder, I would skip the sea salt, but I'm going to grab some more celery because I need a little more. Did I tell you that I, I went and got some uh, coconut extract to try the plant milk with coconut? No, I didn't know that. How is yeah. that? I, that? I I haven't tried it yet. I thought about it today, but I, I, I have, I think, just enough potatoes, so I'm going to try to is it six six cups of potatoes just for the the soup and for the the slurry? I know. So that's well. See, and I'm gonna hopefully I'll have to do six cups just for um you know the soup yeah. part. So I don't know if I have enough. I didn't realize he wanted to have it with me when I bought everything. So we'll see. Okay, I got the celery. Definitely enough of the celery. So let me show that I'm just putting it in here to put it aside. Beautiful celery. And this is the Costco organic celery. And I really do like it, especially when we juice it. I think that it offers a lot of flavor and there are celeries that um, taste bitter or taste differently depending on where they're grown and how they're grown. And um, so this one has worked out really well. And I have tried other ones that um, sprouts and for juicing, it, it hasn't uh, it hasn't been as good. It's been a little bit of a bitter flavor. It hasn't been as um, juicy or whatever. Yeah, I tried sprouts and I tried azure, and oh my gosh, I could barely drink 
drink it. You know, just so bitter. Oh, uh, I really enjoy. Yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on my my glove here, and I'm going to attempt to use this uh, mandolin for doing my carrots, just because I don't know why. Because it's fun to try different things, and I've yeah. got it on a little bit of a thicker can't thicker uh, carrot. Oh, cool. I like your mandolin board. Thank you. Yeah, it's got a lot of different, I, I don't know if you could see, there's these little tiny Oh yeah. levels. And so, yeah. and then um, I usually use this thing, but it's hard on a carrot. So oh. I have to make sure that I use the glove because I have cut my hand before and it is dangerous. So um, I'm going to pull this away and see if you can. Jennifer. Me too. <laughs> oh, you have too. It's oh, not yeah. a. Yeah, it's like what in the world? Not good. Here's mine. Oh, good. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, so there's my potatoes. I've got nice. potatoes Look. for the soup, and I've got potatoes steaming on the stove. So this is the thickness that I'm doing. I guess it would be, I don't know if that's quite a half inch, but a little bit on the thicker side. So I'm gonna do three cups of carrots and then I'll do my potatoes and see if I have enough to go one way or the other. Ooh, me... finely chopped onion, huh? Yeah, and my carrots were already washed um before we came on so carrots and celery here want to wash i just really was feeling like you know a soothing potato based soup and when i saw this recipe i thought oh man it was just calling my name what a comfort soup oh there's so many things in this book that i want to make a lot of his recipes are very soothing. The foods, they're very soothing. Um, you know, zucchini and carrots and um, cucumber and things of that nature. Zucchini noodles, sweet potato noodles, butter squash, nut, butternut squash noodles. He, he comes up with the neatest ideas. Definitely, definitely. And I've been enjoying... There, you know, there hasn't really been, I mean, maybe one, maybe two at the most recipes, and I've tried a lot of them that I would say, oh, maybe I would change, you know, this seasoning or, you know, add something. But for the most part, they're great just how they come. You know, his spaghetti squash patties. At first, I was like, oh, I won't make these again. And then before I knew it, I was making them, adding onions and garlic. Yeah, I must have made them four or five times because I was enjoying them so much. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Yeah, they grew on me. So I'm going to go ahead and do onion. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm doing the onion because you're doing the onion, but I really wanted to do the potato next. <laughs> See yeah. your influence? Well, and I'm I'm done with the onion, so I'm moving on. So I, I will be, be out of your influence. I've already done my potatoes. He's talking about diced potatoes. I'm going to leave the skin on mine. Oh, I did. I do too. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I just washed them and diced them in my dicer. You know yeah, I don't have it. I don't have a dicer. I only have, There's you know, the stuff. dicer. That that might be a nice thing at some point to get. But yeah. I just I'm doing it by hand. And you know, when we are on here and we're showing different things that we use tools you, you don't have to have the tools that's right i mean a knife will do everything it's just if you do have them it's ways that you can make it a little easier and you know it's kind of fun but it's you don't have to have it you can be successful with very limited things how long do you think I should, we should steep these potatoes oh you're doing the milk well if i don't have enough potatoes i will I don't feel my carrots either. I just, they're organic. So I just give them a wash and cut them up. No, I don't peel my carrots. I leave them on. I just wash them really well. And um, especially for a recipe like this, where I'm just going to cook it all in there. 
Um, I think that the skin has some fiber and nutrients and I just leave it. So I'm just <clears throat> moseying along here. Yeah. I've got, I'm trying to get I like two more. I have leftover carrots. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I actually have a few carrots that I'm not going to use, but that's yeah. okay. Well, fat or garlic cloves. I don't use garlic salt because it is mixed with salt. And oh. that's, thing, you know, that people sometimes think that garlic powder and garlic salt are interchangeable and they're, they're not, really? they're not, they're very different. The broccoli mom makes this crunchy zucchini where she um, chops up her zucchini and then she sprinkles garlic salt, but I think garlic powder would work and nooch over it and air fries it and it makes crunchy zucchini. Do you know I'm unfamiliar, so I'm going to have to um, check it out. She's Broccoli Mum, M-U-M, from um, UK. So she's got that English accent. Oh, that I love it. And she's always crazy busy, and she just makes huge, you know, wonderful, low-calorie, um, high-nutritious food. So it looks like I have enough for the slurry option, too. So I'm going to have to dice up another six cups. Yeah. Okay. I think I can do that. So for whatever reason. Okay, here I go. And as far as what kind of potatoes I'm using, I have two russets sitting here that I haven't chopped up yet. Maybe I'll chop up. And the rest are the Yukon Gold potatoes. And you can use any potato for this recipe. I think you could probably even use sweet potato if you wanted to. It will change the flavor a little bit. I've got all yellow potatoes. So for this slurry, for the second one, you diced up the potatoes and then you're steaming them? Yeah, and they're all done. Okay, so I have to get that water going. As soon as I cut these up, I'll get that going. Kind of did it a little backwards, but hey, that's okay. Oh, and I've got, I've got the um, celery too that I need to to do, but I'll go ahead and get these spices up. Did you um, steam yours in a regular steamer? Did you use the Instant Pot? How did you just do it? I just steamed it over the stove. Okay, that's what I'm planning on doing. Yeah, in a, in a well, no, with a, here, I'll show you. Oh, okay, okay, I see it. it. Yes. In a, in a steamer basket. Okay, I just have a steam insert. It's the same idea, it's the little holes at the bottom. Yeah. And so. He uses just paprika, but I'm, I'm gonna use smoked. So there's two. I have smoked, I don't have the other. Okay, I've got the other, but I like using smoked whenever I can. Okay, I'm gonna cut up one of these. I'm gonna have these russets. Oh, bummer. What's that? Well, you know, it just got a little... Oh, a little, you got a boo-boo. I got a boo-boo, but that's okay. Look, the rest of it's fine, so I'm going to keep using it. Yep. It proves that it's real. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, I'm going to show, you know, what's the difference, right? Well, these are creamier. These are the Yukon Gold. They're a little more yellow, whereas the Russet, you can see, is a little whiter, whiter i hope you can see the coloring and yeah. you know, it I, i'm mixing them it, it's fine yeah potatoes are potatoes i had a purple sweet potato for lunch today with a bunch of vegetables i'm going to start my fire going here and i have another two more cups and then that will be on its way i got fresh rosemary from my rosemary tree plant oh no that's awesome. I will be using dried rosemary. And that's fine too. You know, I, I, I pick it and I just let it sit in here and it sort of just sits there. And I mean, I suppose I can't say it dries, but I mean, it's not fresh just off the tree. So it's it's had time to to do what? What do you suppose it does in just room temperature? All right. So I think 
I have enough here. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to put these all in here and start my steaming. I've seen a lot okay. of celery these days and uh, with my with the juicing. Yeah, in fact, I went to Costco yesterday and one of the things that I bought was a bunch of celery and I noticed they were kind of a little on the low side for what they usually carry. And I thought, oh, no, <laughs> I hope yeah. there's a new shipment in soon. And so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do the onion now. I need two cups of yellow onion just chopped. OK, so I'll just do that. And I, I have a uh, sweet onion and that's all I had. So that's what I used. Perfect. I've got red too, but. Yeah, I have a sweet onion here and that's what I'm using. <laughs> but if I have a choice and I, you know, I do like to use a lot of the purple one or the red, whatever you call it. And, <clears throat> but I, I mix them up. I got everybody lined up here. I got my potato, my peas, my carrots and onion, my spices, my garlic and my celery. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm right behind you. I'm almost done. I just got to get the rest of this onion. Well, I didn't do my spices yet either, but that's okay. Looks great. What I'll do, I just I need a couple of tablespoons of a juice, lemon juice. I'll get that squeezed. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> What I've got here, I'll show you. I have my potatoes. Let me just do what you did and I can share. Although I didn't do my garlic yet, but I'll I'm show. I'm going to start cooking my onions and carrots and celery because. Potatoes, carrots, celery, onion, and the other steaming one behind us. And now I'm going to. I gonna... have a nonstick ceramic pot, but I got a stainless steel. I'm using this red guy right here. Yeah, he wants this cooking for five to seven minutes. And I think I'm going to end up using all of it because I'm doubling the recipe and there was a lot to begin with. So whatever it is, that's what I'm going to use. So let's see what uh -huh. we... Good measuring. <laughs> so there's four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And I think it wanted six. Hey, it, I worked out. That's perfect. Cool. I'm celery and I got a little water here, potato water in case they need it. Water. So as soon as I'm done with this garlic, I am going to check my steaming potatoes. And I have a few of these garlic tricks, you know, these some of these tools, although I didn't bring it out today, but that's mm -hmm. okay. There it is. And it smells so good. I love it. There are uh, some people, um, like I even heard it at uh, True North. Where they don't like to save the paper of the onion and garlic because they say the broth comes out bitter. But for me, I I don't notice, so I I use it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is check. Uh, well, they're going to make a slurry, so that you're going to stick them in the blender. Well, wait a minute. Which ones? Are, yeah, you're doing the steaming one. Yeah, these are the steaming ones. Can you yeah, see? Yeah, those are the ones you're going to stick in the blender until smooth. Because you know you got to make a slurry out of them. So as long as they're cooked. A little bit more, but pretty much almost. Yummy. Okay. <laughs> now, let's see the garlic roughly chopped. So I'll roughly chop the garlic. And he only does four cups for the one that we're doing instead of six cups of the broth. I guess uh, uh, so that ours will thicken, you know, I guess the, the milk one. Oh, the arrow oh, um, powder. The arrow, See, the arrow powder. powder. Yeah, thickens that one. Yeah. I have that right here in case I went that direction, but um, I'm going to try the other one since I had enough potatoes. Yeah. I've got, I've got six cups, but I've got four cups to put in it and then two more cups just in case I wanted a little bit more soup. Oh, that's a good idea. Just so I've got, you know, negotiations. But I'm the only one eating it here, so. So here's all my garlic. There it is. Ooh, yeah, very nice. So, so I, here's my uh, celery and carrot and uh, onion cooking. That looks good. I I can almost smell it. I got to get mine Ooh. going so I can say that I can smell yours. <laughs> and then I'm going to add in my garlic. Okay. And that's Better. for another couple of minutes. And I put a bunch of garlic in there. I 
I lost count. <laughs> okay, so I'm purpose. <laughs> and it's sticking just a little bit. I'm getting a little bit brown on the bottom. I'm gonna add it. Just a little bit of water. Potato water. So this tells me I'm a step behind you. I'm putting in the carrots and the celery, and I'm putting in the onion. And I'm just gonna cook that for about six or seven minutes. And this is what it looks like in my pan prior to starting. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. And um, let's see, I'd like to just talk for a minute about the broth that I'm gonna use. Now he has a recipe for his own broth. He calls it healing broth. Janet's made that before. And is that is that the recipe? Yeah, that's his healing broth. But I don't strain it. I just immersion blend it and I use it, everything that's in it. It's all edible food. That's why yours looks a little bit like cloudy because you left all the goodies in there and you could do that. Um, I have some here that I was thawing out that has been in my freezer. Let me wipe this down and I can show you. This is not his recipe, but it might as well be. And I just have this in these little bags. And these are uh, four cups of veggie broth. So I'm going to use that. Now, um, if I didn't have it and I really didn't want to use water because you can use water. <clears throat> Another thing that I recently found for a store-bought is this one. It's called Bonafide No Salt Added. I couldn't believe it. Veggie broth. How much sodium does it say is in it? 60 mg, which is just natural. There's no added salt. Isn't that, that interesting? So there's 60 for people that think that there's no salt in natural foods? There you go. Oh, right. Well, celery is one, and there's the ingredients. There's celery. I mean, there is, yes, there's natural salts. You're right. But like the, you know, the white table salt is not in here. And right. so I just thought that I would I'm share that. I'm worried that they're going to, you know, lack salt. It's like, no, you won't. And even on the back natural. side, it. Yeah, exactly. And, and even on the back side, it says only ingredients you'd find in your kitchen. And then it says no natural flavors, no added sugar, no canola oil, no citric acid, no other icky stuff. Look at that. That is awesome. So for people that maybe don't have time or don't want to make it homemade, you, you can find it, but you do have to check because not all shelf stable vegetable broth is made the same this is my zoop beautiful looking good way to go janet i'm gonna bring it to a boil and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes uncovered so i just turned my steamed off let me show you that whoa it looks Oh, yes. Looks good, Jennifer. Really good. So I'm just going to let that sit on the side. That's ready to roll. Oh, now here comes mine to a simmer. We're uh, So I'm going to do onion powder. And I have to remember to double it because that will mess me up, right? I'll eat a carrot. Okay, so that's onion powder. I need to make Stephen's pudding, so I'll get his potatoes out. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the garlic powder, which is also in here. Uh-oh, I'm gonna need more garlic powder. So I could pass you some garlic powder through the phone. I have bay leaf here, but I didn't get to it yet. And I've got the dulse. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in all my garlic. So this is what I have for the dulse. And this is- Oh, you um, got the applewood. Yeah, I have the applewood. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Okay, so I am gonna use a bay leaf. So I'm gonna just get one of those guys out here and I'm doubling the recipe. Sometimes if I'm just doing the regular recipe, I'll use half of a bay leaf if, if it calls for one or, you know, I feel like I can get a lot out of it. And so I sometimes, do that and it doesn't change the flavor at all. You know, I get 
fresh bay leaves at sprouts and stick them in the refrigerator and they last forever. They kind of dehydrate in the in the refrigerator. So I have tons of bay leaves. I've got like three packages. I get them when they're on sale and they'll just sit in there and wait for me. That's awesome. Yeah, because they're expensive when you buy them dried. I don't know why. I know, that's why I try to sometimes just use half of I'm gonna turn this heat down for a minute. And, um, you know, I really like to use my little mortar and pestle. So I'm gonna take that out for my time. For my time. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna do a few of these. Otherwise, I get like these sticks, and I love the flavor, but I don't like the sticks from the thyme and the rosemary. So I'm just going to give it a little, a little whirl here. One of these days, I'll have to get like a grinder or a bigger one because I've got this little tiny thing that I'm using. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh, cool. It works, you know. Water's starting to boil a little bit harder. See, there's stuff check. in here. And I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to pour that in here. And then we have rosemary. I have the local spicery. I don't have this one, the time I used, it's got the blue label because it was fresh and I dehydrated it. Oh, and, you know, yeah. I sometimes have, you know, other brands, but I'm really trying to go with the non-eradicated, smaller, um, you know, places like local spicery. But sometimes I just do what I can, and that works too. Sounds like a plan. To show you me just grinding this up a little bit, just to release the flavors and not really have any, you know, have more of a smooth texture. Because sometimes I like it. I, I really do like it ground up. Yeah. See? And that's the rosemary or just any spice? I did the I did the thyme. I didn't do the thyme as much as I normally would, and now I just did the rosemary pretty good. I should have poured the thyme in, um, you know, smaller increments because it's such a little tiny cup. Oh, that's okay. Here you go. So I am a little shy on the garlic powder, and you know what? Because there's so much garlic in it, I'm I'm just gonna let it go. I yeah, I think you're safe, Jennifer. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So now that I've got all of that, it says. Add the potatoes. So I'm going to add my potatoes now. Let me, I'll, I'll show you what it's looking like before I add the potatoes. Okay. Ooh. So that looks nice. good. And in the potatoes go. Perfect, perfect. And then what else? Um, add the potatoes and add all this seasonings. Did you put the bay leaf in? Yeah, I did. Okay. So here's my broth. And this says four cups. So I'm gonna have to decide if I wanna add the rest water that I'm short or mix it with this other one that I showed you. So let me just get this in here. More broth, more taste. Um, what do you think? Should I do water or should I just mix it with this guy? Oh, definitely use that guy. Okay. I am thinking I will put some of the veggies in a in. I'll separate them out to get that liquid out of there to blend it. Remove as much liquid as possible from the soup and add the liquid to the blender with the potatoes. Blend until smooth. Then pour back into the mixture into the pot. In the pot. Pour oh. back the mixture into the pot. So Stir in I, the peas and the lemon juice. So how long did, uh, I gotta read and see how long I should let this cook for? Five to seven minutes until the potatoes and the onions are soft. Okay, I might have to go a little longer because some of my broth has a couple pieces of ice still in it. It's not totally oh, fine. You'll be fine. So, That'll okay. heat right up. I'll, I'll give a latest update on mine. Nice, yes. 
Woo, that looks good. Yeah, let's see. Looks really good. Potatoes, let's see how. Oh, yeah, they're done. Yeah, I'll give them a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna put it on for 15 minutes and then I'll check it. So now that I have this in here, let's see what it says to do. Just, uh, let me see, I'll check here. Um, it just says to blend it like this and then remove as much liquid as possible from the soup. Well, the soup's not done cooking yet. So for me, maybe I'll just hold off on blending this. You talk and I'll blend. Okay. <laughs> So it's starting to smell really good in here. And um, this says that it's supposed to make uh, the original recipe three servings. So I'm wondering what his serving size is, although I doubled mine. And um, look at that. Yum. That looks great. That looks great. I was just about to say that he's just talking about choosing between the healing broth and water. And basically the difference is that you'll just get more flavor with the broth, but it can be done with water. And so, you know, cause you are putting spices in as well. And so Janet, that looks great. This is gonna be so fun. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wee. Wow. Wow. And so you're just adding that to the leftover broth because you you took all the goodies out and left just the liquid. I put the liquid in the blender to make the, the slurry. Oh, and so what are you pouring it into? An empty now, container? Now, yeah, now I'm pouring the, I, I put the vegetables back in the pot and now I'm putting the slurry back in the pot. Yeah. Got it. So. Oh. <laughs> And stirring it up, and then I'm going to add the peas and the lemon juice. I'm going to get my peas out. It does call for peas and lemon juice, so I'll be back while you talk. This time. Okay, sounds good. Oh, this just this is amazing. Potatoes are just the most amazing vegetable, aren't they, guys? Oh my gosh, that's so I'm just fun. using organic green peas that I got from Costco. Uh, um, but you can get fresh ones. That would yeah. have been great. I didn't have any. Do you? Yeah, I got the fresh ones from Trader Joe. Nice. I did not do that. My mistake. I love those English peas that they sell. Yeah, me too. You're the one that helped me figure that out when we were mm -hmm. doing some broth. They're so good. But so, you know, you have choices when you're making stuff. Yeah. Okay, so that is... My soup, and now I'm going to add. So I have this lemon from my lemon tree. Oh, and it smells, oh, it smells so good. But I also have lemon, like, you know, pre, uh, lemon juice, just lemon juice. Look at that. That's beautiful. Mm. So either one will work. Oh, I might you've got fresh lemon. There's no comparison. I know, but I love using this in the lemon water in the morning. <laughs> oh, yes. It's Ooh, almost like I'm being so greedy nice. about it because I don't have a lot of lemons. Mm, I just, mm, so, yeah. I just love, Costco's got the Meyer lemons right now. Mm, so nice. Oh, here we are. Oh, my gosh. Looks so good. Mm. Oh, and then we can use chives. And I have fresh chives out, outside. I could go grab some. I've got some in my freezer that I can't come outside. I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go cut some. I'll be right back. See, I go out to my garden and I chop up and then I, I bring them in, I chop them up and just stick them in the freezer. Mine's still cooking away, but it's it's not far behind you. Here's my, I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit. Some of my, uh, ooh, look at that, Janet. Here it is. Is that a, sam is that a sample that's going to be like a tease? Is that a tease sample? I better try it just to make sure you should keep on going. Okay. And then I want to take it to Steven to see if he, he wants to try it. That's what I meant. I thought you were going to just take that to Steven mm. and then say, that's it. Yeah. 
Mm. No, I'm going to, he doesn't, you know, he's got his own soups he's eating, but in case he wants some of this, I'm going to, I'm going to go take him some. Okay. Well, I have this um, chive and actually the chive that I grow is a garlic chive, which is funny since I was a little shy on the garlic just because I didn't go upstairs and, and refill my bottle, but I am going to rinse this up and chop it up. And um, I can't imagine Stephen not loving it. He grabbed it. <laughs> okay, so this, I'm gonna take this little container and I'm just gonna put in my chopped, um, my chopped garlic chive. When you stepped away, I was saying, it's funny how the chive that I have is the garlic chive and I was a little shy of the garlic. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So here we go. So this is ready to go. Now I'm just going to put that there. Whoops. You know, there's still a lot of recipes in here that I haven't made that I would like to make. So many recipes, Jennifer. Not enough time in the day, right? Oh, my gosh. And not enough tummy to eat them. You know, I mean, I get simpler and simpler with the, the meals that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the, you know, all of the ingredients that's cooking right now and set it aside. And then I'm going to use the broth like you did, and I'm going to add it in here and I'm going to make my slurry. So Sounds that's, good. yeah, that's what I'm waiting for. I just want to make sure that the carrots and everything, so while I'm letting that cook the last little bit, I'm just cleaning some dishes. And I already have a salad made that I made earlier today that I could have. Ooh. Okay, so mine is ready. So I'm going to turn the fire off. Yay. And I'm going to just start scooping out all the vegetables and put them in here so that I have the broth for this guy. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know how you did it. I just did it in one of the strainers and, and that yours is fine. Sure does smell delicious. Fun, all the different ways we come up with doing things. Emmy, come yeah. on, sweetie. Yeah. Good boy, let's say hi. Oh, Remy. Here you are, say hi, Jenny. Hi, hi Rams. Hey. He's all good. Um, What's cooking? Rams. Cooking. <laughs> Yeah, that's not good for him because it has garlic in it. Ooh. I I think he came in for dinner. <laughs> really fun. I'm going to try a different way to drain the rest of this because this, I think what I'm going to do is use my, my strainer, actually. I'm just doing up my, well, the rest of the sweet potato. Here's what I'm going to do with the rest of this. See this little strainer thing? Yeah. I'm going to pour it in here and let the rest drain that way. Oh, that's an excellent idea. Oh, yeah, that worked. So you can see. Let's see if I can show the camera. Hmm. Okay, here I go. All right. I'm going to just go ahead and pour this in there. Wow, it's filling it because I doubled the recipe. It's it's maybe more than I, I might just have the rest not in there. It's not very much. Look, it's just a little. Oh, yeah. I, I did already take out my basil leaf. Ah. Or my, bay, my, bay, my bay leaf, not basil. I took this out. We don't want to blend that in. So yeah. um, even though we're not blending the vegetable part, I took it out already. Now you could leave it in, I guess. Just make sure that you you know where it is. So, all right. Now, when your Vitamix has hot liquids in it, you want to go gentle, easy. <laughs> the lid can, you know, pop off, and you could get hurt. The other thing you could do is the uh, hand blender, 
And I could have done the hand blender. The immersion? The immersion. The only thing is, you still got to take all the vegetables out. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll end up with a big, huge nothing. Blend until smooth and then pour it back in the pot. And then we're going to stir in the peas and the lemon juice. Here we go. Got it. I had it on one and then I went to two. I mean, I barely put it on, you know, the the speed thing on my on my Vitamix. So let's take a peek. Oh, wow. It looks like gravy. This looks yes. great. Yes. Wow. That's what the slurry is, like a pot pie gravy. I know, but it, it really looks fabulous. Here, let me show yeah. you. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. So I kind of want to taste it just the way it is before I add it. Here's Should I do it? Uh, absolutely. Hmm. That's really good. That looks great. Okay, and it goes back into the pot. Now I'm gonna pour this on top of all of the veggies. And then I'm going to scrape out every last drop that I can. Oh man, this is yummy looking. Wow, that looks great. This looks it's, so good. It's pretty cleaned out, but I, there might be some here I can get. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and um, let's see. I'm gonna mix mix this up. You know, the food is very filling. It's very satisfying. It's very tasty. It is. It's not just lettuce leaves. No, <laughs> not by any stretch of the imagination. So I'm just going to move this over here to show mm. you. Let's see if I could. Mm, I might have to oh my it gosh, that looks amazing. Oh, beautiful. And now I just need to add the um, peas. I'm going to add the peas. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here go the peas. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do I heat it and then put the lemon juice? He says add the the um the peas and the lemon juice. Add the optional sea salt if using. Heat the soup until the peas are warmed through. Okay. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> I can't reach this. <laughs> All right. So let me try that again. So you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and here is the lemon juice. So that's in there. And now I'm just going to stir this up. I mean, what's not to love? A very comforting, filling, beautiful, non-injuring food that just can only help your body. So I'm going to go ahead, like you said, and put it on just to heat it up just a little bit more and Enjoy it and enjoy it. It looks just like pot pie. It looks just like pot pie. I know. God. Wonderful. Okay. So I'm going to turn that on. And I'm going to go ahead and taste it, though, because I oh, have absolutely. It. OK, let me get my my spoon is right here. I'm on dessert. <laughs> That's OK. All right, so here we go. Boy. Okay, so this is what I have that have I- Have your chives. Oh yeah, okay. You gotta have your chives, right? it really yeah. finishes her off. Okay. Of course Very it's not nice. heated. It's just the taste, so here we go. Okay. Oh man, I wish I could share a bite with everybody. Hmm. <laughs> It's just pot pie. <laughs> Ow. Uh -oh. You know what? The lemon, the lemon really gives it a little, like a little different flavor to it. Maybe because I just put it in there. Yeah. 
that'll mm -hmm. blend in. I noticed that you can taste the lemon right when you put it in, but then after, at least I haven't been able to taste it. Well, from Janet and Jennifer's kitchen to yours, we urge you to give it a try. It's delicious. And you can get his recipes right on his website. Um, you know, if you just Google Anthony Williams Medical Medium and get to his website, he'll, he has his recipes right there. And mm. this is just called the Pot Pie Soup. Pot Pie Soup number 41 in his um, Brain Saver book. So Very good. Thank you, everyone. It was a pleasure. And don't forget, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification button for both of our channels. And we'll be bringing you more content and spreading the word that whole food, plant-based eating is just, just to your benefit. Take care, everyone. Yay. Goodbye, everybody.